Not a lot of time on the clock, uh, Chief. I'll need that back, sir. To disarm your allies in Halo 2, first you need to have two of the same magazine-fed weapons and dual-wield them. Here's a crappy chart I put little effort into making. You as the player character must have either two SMGs, two pistols, or two needlers. The AI companion that you wish to disarm must have a weapon that is dual-wieldable. It can be magazine-fed, which basically means it's a gun that you can reload, just so long as it is different from the guns that you are holding and the one that you have holstered. It can also be a battery-charged weapon, such as a plasma rifle or plasma pistol. For this demonstration, I will be using two SMGs, and the Marine I wish to disarm has been provided with a plasma pistol. To do this trick, keep firing the gun in your left hand until it can no longer be fired or reloaded. Make sure that the primary gun in your right hand still has some ammo in it. It doesn't have to be a full clip, but it can't be empty. With the left gun empty and the remaining ammo in the right gun, approach the AI companion and exchange your primary firearm with theirs. You will drop your primary gun and take their weapon, and your secondary weapon will reload. Your AI companion will be left without a weapon. This happens because you can only trade your primary weapon, and when it is being handed over to the AI, all the ammo in it is transferred to the empty gun in your left hand. While ammo should not be an issue for the AI, this transfer probably flags the weapon as unusable, and thus the AI won't use it. This trick works on marines, elites, grunts, and jackals. For the most part, they will run up to enemies and do nothing, but some may throw grenades. So that's how you disarm your allies in Halo 2. Have fun. Maybe I'll just use my hand. I actually discovered this trick back in late 2004 during my first time playing the game. I believe it was during the mission where you have to assassinate the Prophet of Regret. I was near one of those underwater elevators when I inadvertently disarmed one of my marines and watched as he ran after a group of grunts with nothing to defend himself. I quickly figured out how I'd done it, and from then on it was just a silly little thing I knew about the game. The footage in this demonstration was actually recorded in February 2019 during a snowstorm. I decided that day that I would play Halo 2 Anniversary for the very first time. It had been over a decade since I'd last played Halo 2, and I was eager to see what new things the Anniversary Edition had in store. As you may tell by where the footage takes place, one of the first things I did was test out whether the disarming trick was still possible, and sure enough, it still is. I've searched online to see if anyone else knew about this trick, and to my surprise, there was nothing really. Some gamers had reported it as a glitch, but with no clear explanation on how it can be done. I saw some really convoluted processes, uh, things such as requiring you to play on a certain level with certain requirements and that it has to be a certain marine and all sorts of things need to be done and then you may have a marine drop their gun. So here, I made this video to show exactly how to do it. It can be done on any level with any ally and it works every time. It's just a little glitch that can provide some amusement, so I hope you have fun with it.